10 degrees the expected high. Well, that's not overly high, but in Levin at the moment it's 8 degrees. And in Parapanamu it's 9 degrees. With the best music mix. 2 double X FM. When I wake up. 21 minutes past 6. We hark at a street. We're going to make sure you're there right. this Saturday. Yep. Good morning. It's 22 minutes past 6. How are you doing? Rob Walker here for the Breaky Show. Andrea Gower has the latest local news, local sport at 6.30. And we'll give you a chance to win as well with Movie Land 3. When I go to the movies... So good. What's the guy's name? I think his name's Johnny Depp. He's in a new movie that's just about to come out. It'll be here soon. Called uh, Don Juan Di Marco. The story of the greatest lover of all. And this is the song from the movie from Brian Adams. Two Double X FM. Good morning. And it's a romantic comedy. It looks very funny. Uh, that's where the song comes from. It's 27 minutes past six at Two Double X FM. Good morning. Welcome to, welcome to Thursday, the 22nd of June. Local news and sports is next. I don't know what happened to this cold snap that was expected. Not that cold out there, is it? Ooh. Nah. Wet. Yes, very. And But the good news is it's going to clear up this afternoon and stay fine right through to Monday. Did the rain wake you up this yes. morning at about 3.36-ish? Yes. Well, what a downpour. Crocky. In Waikanae. Yeah, there's a bit of... In um, Waikanae, yeah. What do they call it when there's flooding on the surface? Oh, surface, surface flooding. flooding. Thank you. Oh, gee. Around the place. Take care. Cloudy weather and showers at first today, but cold southerly spreading north this morning. Then they say the showers will become isolated later this morning and fine bits increasing. It'll be fine and frosty tomorrow and uh, fine and frosty all the way through Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You are lovely. 10 degrees, the expected high. At the moment, it's 8 in Levin, it's 9 in Otaki, and it's 9 in Paraparimu. That's the land design, service, and sales temperature here at 2 XFM. Good morning. We've got the dreaded morning oldie coming up at some stage this morning. As well as that, we're going to be looking for the sports person of the month. Your chance to offer some more suggestions, some more nominations for who you think should win the prize this morning. We've got something interesting here about bosses, too. Nothing interesting about bosses at all. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> and here we go, the dreaded morning oldie. You ready? I, I didn't pick this one either. Oh, thanks. Well, just, <laughs> That's... Disclaimer first, yeah. you see. You ready? Here we go. Listen very carefully. If you know what this song is, then you call us as quick as you can Don't... on 298280. Don't give too much. Oh, yes, that'll get them. We'll take calls in a minute. The huge... G'day. How are you? Very good, thanks. What do you reckon? Fame. Oh, minutes unbelievable. At last. <laughs> what do you mean at last? Well, I've been trying for a long time, yes. Is that right? Yeah. Good song. You sure didn't give away much this morning, did you? No. Nope. What do you think? You think this is meant to be easy? No, you no, still no, got it. Not so easy. You still got it. So what are you complaining about? Oh, very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> and what would your name be? Kevin. Kevin, good on you. You're off to the movies with Movie Land 3. Great. Thank and you very much. We'll see if we can arrange a special screening of fame for you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Stay there and get some details from you. Six minutes to seven and two double XFM. Here it is, the dreaded morning oldie. Four and a half thousand dollars. The accountant wants to get rid of it. We don't need it here at two double XFM. The rugby jackpot. That's how much was in it. We'll find out whether we've been successful or not very soon. Stay yes, there. Sir. It's eighteen to seven. Hands you like to win. It's the dreaded morning oldie. We'll give you a double pass to Movie Land Three. If you can tell me what the song is. Okay, you ready? Here we go. This is the dreaded morning oldie this morning. Two nine eight two double eight zero. A couple of lines there, or you could even try 298-1377, our AM number, and here we go. You ready? You tell me what this song is, and you'll win. Simple as that. Here we go. Oh, that's easy. And my very word, isn't it light outside? Oh, my word, yes. What do you reckon? Is it um, Billy Joel? Because you said that, eh? And I said, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. I'll tell you, yeah? No, it's not. Oh, <laughs> okay. Isn't he horrible? Okay, I'll try to read back again later. Good on you. Okay, bye. Yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs> And this one, I'll get it. Hello. Oh, is it Rock the Boat? No. Oh, the Hughes Corporation. Oh, now, there's a song. Now we're huh? talking. No, it's not that one, though. Sorry. Okay. See ya. Right. Bye. It was, oh, yeah. it was just a bit like it. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Oh, fine, I think. Are you sure? <laughs> well, have a look at yourself in the mirror. Go on. Oh, no. Thanks. No. <laughs> uh, is it back when Tina Overdrive? You ain't seen nothing yet? No. no. It's not. Sorry. Okay. See ya. Thanks. Bye. bye. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. And? It's December 63. Oh. Well done. <laughs> it's pretty easy, really. Travelling over the holidays. It's 19 past seven at 2 XFM. Funny story over the weekend. Um, it's Sports editor Peter Ellis from 2XXFM went to uh, Wanganui, to Spriggan's Park. Uh, at Spriggan's Park, where Horofina were lost to Wanganui. Anyway, he was part of the commentary team. Right. Mm. So he was um, heading over there to be a part of that. 
and he gets there and he gets to the gate and they say, yeah, righto mate, give us your money. And he said, no, 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 I'm part of the commentary team on the two radio stations ourselves and the one in Wanganui. No, it doesn't matter, give us the money. And he said, all right then, handed over the money and um, then said, here's a program that'll cost you five. Oh, no. He said, no, 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 look, I'm part of the commentary team. It doesn't matter, said this big guy, a bit like a gorilla, and um, charged him again for the program. Funny thing is, though, after all that, uh, Peter actually won the, the lucky program number when they made the draw. And out of all the people there, he uh, won a rugby ball. <laughs> oh. Signed by, you ready? Signed by the Hortofenua team. I thought that was really funny. <laughs> Here's one for my dirty cat. <laughs> Sausage thief. Just like Slinky Malinky, he was in there in the middle of the night, opened up the fridge and took out a packet of sausages. This is my cat. I'm perfect, man. On the water, here we go. Northeast winds, 25 knots, gusting 35, changing to northwest of 30, gusting 40. These things are so confusing. There's a rough sea forecast. Rain and poor visibility easing to showers this morning, and there's, uh, there was a high tide at 25 to 6. The next one's due at 10 past 6 tonight. You watched Manpower last night. Oh, so did you. Oh, I watched about three minutes of it, but the answer to it is they're Australian men, aren't they? Well, yes. Well, there's your answer. They've got nothing else to prove, have they? What did you think? We're, 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 how come you only watched a few minutes? Well, this is actually a bit of a turn-off, I think. Was, wasn't it? Here, yeah. here. Yeah, no, they're pathetic men. Well, they were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. They were like a bunch of boys. The only boys. good thing about them possibly was they had nice long hair. The only thing they're concerned about is themselves. That's right. Yeah, yeah. male chauvinists. And Typical Australian men. Good on you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you've said that. I'm glad it's before 7 o'clock. <laughs> oh, I reckon so. I think that's made Rob's day. It's 21 minutes past 7 at 2 XFM, and it's just occurred to me why it is that we have had no success in finding anybody who watched Manpower Australia last night on telly and enjoyed it. Because if anybody did, they wouldn't ring the radio station and admit to it just in case their husband or boyfriend is listening. That's why, isn't it? Yeah, see? I watched it. And? Did and you? I enjoyed it. Oh, you. Oh, are you going to tell us your name? No. Oh, there you go. You chicken. <laughs> chicken. Are you married? Are you married? <laughs> no. Are you involved in a long term relationship? No. What about a short term one, are you? Uh, well, I'm in between. Thank you. That's okay. See ya. Bye. Hey, Apparently, what happens is if you're a bloke and you go for a dip in some icy cold water, it increases the production of testosterone. Oh, really? Fascinating, isn't it? Isn't that interesting? I you'd find and it. shrinkage happens at the same time. Well, it does. It's ah. amazing how this happens. <laughs> Built in thermometer. It's like being hot and cold. It's, that's well done. Thank you. Five and a half to seven at 2 XFM. Good morning. Good morning, Dennis Meacham. Good morning, um. It's Rob. 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 Yeah. Rob, he's back. Uh, thank you, Andrea. Yes. Rob, how are you? Good. Used to work here. Remember me? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. You're, the, you're the tall, handsome fellow. That's right. Dennis, yes, Andrea. I'll tell you how much sleep he hasn't had. <laughs> he's got his shirt on inside out. Has he? Yeah. yeah. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> on the even, outside again. I didn't even notice that. That's really embarrassing. Oh, no, it's my job to bring that up and let the <laughs> let the <laughs> listeners know. <laughs> it looks very nice, Rob. Oh, it looks ridiculous. Nice seams. So, Mark Delacy's listening as well, so we'll play your song in just a minute, Mark, but I've got to say this. Doesn't TV add about 10 extra pounds? Um, Mark will be wrapped. <laughs> that song is next. Rob, is Andrea giving you a bit of problem this morning? Oh, I've been away for a couple of days, David, uh, and, you know, you leave the place for two days and look what happens, you know? It's like a mutiny. <laughs> I'll see you guys next Wednesday. You have a great day, and congratulations again, Rob. Thank you very much, David. Until then, my lips are filled. David Arnold. <laughs> very good. Arnold's Hollywoods. And there's a couple of rather important ones in there as well. Oh, yes. Looking okay, forward to doing that. That's not very far away. And now. <laughs> I love the music you choose for these. Oh, how I've missed this. Well, I knew you'd miss it, so I didn't do it over the last couple of days. <laughs> Andrea's Guide to Domestic Bliss. Okay, I have a translation today in my Guide to Domestic Bliss. Translation number 127. Yeah. When a woman goes to her closet and says, oh, I don't have anything to wear, she really means, I don't have anything new to wear. Yeah. When a man goes to his closet and says, oh, I don't have anything to wear, what he really means is, I don't have anything clean to wear. <laughs> Now, if you're going to try and tell me that's not true... Uh, having worn my shirt backwards today, I would say... Exactly. That's exactly right. Then. This David Hartnell report about Brad Pitt refusing to grow his hair long for a Japanese TV commercial. Mm. Get a million dollars. I mean, I'll do that. You'd grow your hair long. 
<laughs> oh, that's a good one. No. That's no. great. Mm. Uh, the man who's losing his hair is going to grow his hair long. I'm not ah. losing my hair. As my me. nephew said to me yesterday, he said, I'm, he's because he you know, plays a bit of rugby, he was going to get his number, um, the position he plays, shaved into his head. Mm -hmm. Just like you, he said. Just like you. I said, what do you mean? He said, you're number zero. At the top. <laughs> so you're standing on the beach, right? Yeah. In your speedos. Uh, uh, I'll find that difficult to imagine, but yeah, go on. The wind's blowing just a wee bit. Yeah. It's, you know, the middle of winter. It's yeah. Sunday, the 2nd of July, quarter past yeah. one in the oh, afternoon. Oh, it's sounding really cold. There's yep. the entire staff of Woolworths Paraparumi also standing on the beach alongside you. In these speedos. speedos. Yeah. Ready to take the plunge. Yeah. Look, you don't have to stay there for very long either. It's just a matter of getting in and getting